If you haven't done so yet, just make sure that you pause the video and try to answer the question first on your own before listening on. So we've gone ahead and drawn a right triangle to represent the information given in this question. You can see that B would represent the altitude of the airplane. It is simply how high vertically above the ground the airplane is. And we were actually told that that altitude was one mile. So let's write down that B is equal to one mile in this case. We're also told that the airplane is traveling at a speed of 500 miles per hour. So consider the length of this line right here. And as the airplane travels horizontally, the length of the side marked A would be increasing in accordance with the airplane's speed. So in other words, if the airplane is moving to the right at 500 miles per hour, then A is also increasing in length by 500 miles every hour. So since that is the case, we can say that the rate at which A is increasing, which is symbolized by dA dt, this is the rate at which A is increasing, would equal positive 500 miles per hour. Notice that because the airplane is flying horizontally, that this vertical distance right here would not increase in length, nor would it decrease in length. And what that means is that the rate of change of the side marked B is equal to zero. So that we can write as dB dt is equal to zero miles per hour. We also know that the length of the hypotenuse of our right triangle is two miles. That is stated in the question that the airplane is two miles away from the station. So we have that as one of our knowns. And then finally, we recognize the question wants to know the rate at which the distance from the plane to the station is increasing. Well, the distance between plane and station was represented by C, and if we're trying to find the rate at which that is changing, then we're actually looking for dc dt. The only missing piece of information we will need is the length of A, and we can obtain the length of A by using the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared for any right triangle. We can fill in all the values that we have. So we have a squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2 squared. A squared plus 1 equals 4. Subtract 1 from both sides so that A squared is equal to 3. And then we can see, of course, that A will equal the square root of 3. And this would be in miles. So the final stage of the problem is to somehow create an equation that allows us to find dc dt. Let's go back to the Pythagorean theorem. What we're going to do is differentiate each of the three terms with respect to time. We just have to do so following the chain rule. So for instance, with a squared, we would take the two, take this original power and move it down in front. That would give us two times a raised to the power of one, of course, because we have to subtract one from the exponent. But then the chain rule says to multiply by the derivative of this inside function. And in this problem, the derivative of a with respect to time would be dA dt. Following the same procedure for the other terms, we would have 2 times b to the power of 1 dB dt. And then this will equal 2 times c to the power of 1 times dC dt. To solve this equation for dC dt, we would divide every term here by 2c. So these two c's would cancel. If you look very carefully, you will see that because each of the terms has a 2, when we divide by 2, it's actually going to cancel out. So now you are simply left with a dA dt plus b dB dt divided by c. And this will equal the rate at which the side marked c is changing. We can now plug in all the known values. So a was the square root of 3 miles. dA dt was 500 miles per hour. b was 1 mile. dB dt was 0 miles per hour. Remember that its rate was not changing. 
and then we divide by c, which was 2 miles. Of course, this term in the top right corner cancels out. We are left with 500 root 3 divided by 2. If we look carefully in the numerator, when we multiply these units together, we're going to have miles squared per hour. But then that's divided by just miles. So because we have miles squared divided by miles, one pair of miles will cancel, and that will give us 500 root 3 over 2 miles per hour. Of course, we can simplify this because 500 divided by 2 is 250, and then we have root 3 miles per hour. And this would be the final answer for the rate at which the hypotenuse of our right triangle was changing.